She has great desires. She will succeed at all costs. She has to kill every last one of you. Scarlet doesn't care whether she wins or loses against us. What does that mean? She doesn't What's fight that? like she wants to win. She sacrifices her weapons to take some of us out. It's like she's culling the herd. Our herd. Yeah, Tyria's defenders. What do you think about those devices she's left around? We don't know that Scarlet dropped those off, do we? Who else? I keep waiting for one of them to explode. Or spout toxins like the Tower of Nightmares. You can stop worrying. They're not offensive. They're probes. She's looking for something. Or open up and spew dredge into the surrounding area. Whatever they are, I'm convinced they're dangerous. <laughs> Nobody ever listens to me. Did you hear about the worms acting up in blood tide cups? Someone was saying something about that. You gonna go check it out? Nah, I'm so tired, my pillow's already snoring. Mine too. As soon as we're done here, Ram and I are heading back to Lion's Arch. Yeah, I'm starving. We'll meet you there. Kazmi, you okay? Yes, I'm fine. Don't worry. You're a child. You're a super genius. What are you doing out here? Who are you with? I'm not supposed to talk to nosy strangers. Where are your parents? Dead. Uh, okay. Well, you're obviously a long way from home. You, you come with me. By whose authority are you ordering me around? <sighs> by the authority vested in me by Queen Jenna of Divinity's Reach. Now come with me. I'm not going with you until I know where you're taking me. To Lion's Arch, then to Radasum. You've got no business out here on the battlefield. Are you paying the waypoint fees? Yes. Now come on. You seem like a pleasant enough travel companion. Come on, Scruffy. This nice human is taking us home. Soldier, report. Where's my Tequadal tail? Back where I'm bunking, sir. I'll go get it immediately. Wait, you took down Tequadal? As reported, sir. 
I sent you a missive requesting an audience. Yeah, been busy, but I'm here now. Should I go get the tail and bring it to you, Tribune? No, I don't need a slab of decaying meat. But I... I've been hauling it around for weeks. Ooh, I bet that smell sticks to your gear. It does. I've been hearing about this Scarlet Silvari. You know anything about her? She's building an army, sir. She's the one behind the Molten Alliance. So I heard. I want you to take her down. Permanently. Whatever the cost. You do that, Rox, and you're in the warband. What? I, uh... I need to repeat myself. No, Tribune. Consider her dead. Report to me when it's done. And, um, Rox, be careful. Will do, sir. Rox, your devourer... Shoot on your axe handle. I know. Sorry. Listen, you won't believe what Ritlock just said. If I kill Scarlet, I'm in the warband. Definitely. Oh, I see. What's the matter? I thought you'd be happy for me. I just don't understand why you need some warband you don't even know. I mean, you've got me. And we've got a team of our own. Look around. They're all here with you. <sighs> it's a char thing. You wouldn't understand. A char thing? You'd rather be in your fancy warband than with people who've been beside you all this time? That's not what I said. It's a big deal to get into the Stone Warband. Why? Because it'll make you special? You're already special. At least to me. Uh, you'll still see me after I get in. Uh-huh. You will. Sometimes. Bram? Bram! We have to talk about it sooner or later. I have to go clean my gear. Bram! <sighs> Bram, there you are! Somebody care to tell me why this child was on the battlefield? Hey, I'm not a child. Not you, this is Surin girl. I found her out there, trying to get to Scarlet's twisted marionette. Who does she belong to? Oh, her. Help! Help! Save me from this creepy human! It's okay, I'm a Crichton Seraph. The kid's in no danger. Bram! Don't let him take me away! Please! Are you her guardian? Who, me? Wolf's teeth, no! I've never seen her before in my life! Bram, you're so mean! Can't we just go home now? Listen, buddy, I don't know what your game is, but you better get this kid to safety. She's got no business on a battlefield. What? I swear, I've never seen her before in my life. Hey, where's he going? You're not my responsibility. It's okay, Bram. You can take me home now. I live in Rada Sum. Huh? What? Where do you live? Maybe we could go there instead. No. You found your way here. You can find your way back. Fine. Here I go. By myself. Off into the big city. You'll probably never see me again, Bram. Good luck, kid. Marjorie, a word, please. I'll be right back, Cass. Is Lady Kazmir okay? Yeah, she'll be fine. It's just been a rough day. Did you see that twisted marionette? I did. And I heard there are jungle worms erupting from the ground in Blood Tide Coast. That's because they're disturbed by Scarlet's seeking devices. I thought your Norn was taking you home. He is. He just doesn't know it yet. What does a little squirt like you know about Scarlet, anyway? As it so happens, I know a lot. I've been studying her for months. I came to meet her, but she didn't show up. To meet her? Why would you want to do that? Because she's brilliant, of course. My theory is that she knows something about the dragons, and that's why she's building an army. Your theory, huh? You don't think she's just a big old meanie? Do you always talk like a four-year-old? Hey, I've been meaning to ask you something. You wouldn't know anyone who goes by the initial E, would you? Just E? E? No, why? No reason. Just eliminating possibilities. How's the Queen? I wouldn't know. The Shining Blade have her so tightly wrapped up I can't even get near her. Well, at least she's safe. Hey, what's wrong? You've been unusually quiet today. 
<sighs> it's my father's birthday. He'd have been 45 today. I'm sorry. Do you want to talk about it? I just miss him. He didn't deserve to die like that. Like a rat in a cage. Why was he in jail? He was in debtor's prison. It's not what you think. He was a good father. How did he get into debt? My brother Kyle liked to gamble. He lost a lot. My father loved him, and he used family money to bail him out. They were going to kill Kyle. So then your father couldn't pay his own bills. That's right. So they took everything we had left, and they put him in prison. That's why you were looking for a job. And you hired me. I'll never forget how you saved me that day, Jory. I had no idea your situation was so... dark. He died in prison. Uh-huh. A nobleman in debtor's prison. Well, you can imagine what they thought of him there. I visited him as often as I could, but he hated me seeing him like that. And then, he was just gone. It must have been terrifying for you when they arrested your father. I'd been with my tutor, working on staff spells. And when I got home, they were there. They had him in chains, and they wouldn't let me speak to him. They wouldn't let me do anything. They seized the house, and they were taking all our things. I'm so sorry. The garden charts took pity on me, I think. He told me I could take one item from the house, but I had to decide right then. One thing from all my belongings, my family's heritage. He said, you better choose carefully. It's all you're ever getting back. I could have taken one of my mother's necklaces or a valuable piece of art, but he was adamant. Only one thing. What did you take? I took the stuffed bear my father had given me. <laughs> oh, Cass. Shh. It's okay. Listen, honey. Why don't you stay with me tonight? You shouldn't be alone. I'm afraid I'll never want to leave. <laughs> I won't let you. This voice, she said, Vacation's over, Mai. I have work for you in the mists. The invaders took Mai to a portal outside. They had to fight past a squad of Lion Guard to get there. And two strangers, a golem and a Nord lad with a fearsome mace. After Mai entered the portal, the golem went after her. The Norn shouted for it to stop, but it wouldn't. It declared, leave me alone, I know what I'm doing, and actually ran faster. Yes, Carly and I share a certain fixation on self-determination, but we are not natural allies. I seek to define my role in this world. She seeks to tear this world down and use the rubble as her throne. I've seen eyes like hers. In the mirror. She's not in control. Whatever drives her is destroying her day by day from within. But the truth is, I did not wish to escape. I've made more than my share of mistakes already. I'm determined to serve my time and pay my debt. And even more determined not to put myself in this position. Again. there, and a sign out front that says Delacroix Investigations, or... Stop. No curtains, no tablecloths, and most of all, no sign. But... No. But... Okay, maybe curtains, but only if they're black. <sighs> I can see you're tired and cranky. We'll talk about it some other time. Rox, come in. Join us, please. You should hear what happened. Long time no see. So how did you two meet? About six months ago, I was just minding my own business and... She posted a help wanted sign, and I was looking for someone to help. So you met only six months ago. It seems like you've been together longer. I'd noticed her before that. 
around the city. You had? You never told me that. So, you're a mated pair? <laughs> We're currently in negotiations. Come here, Frostbite. What about you, Rox? Anyone special in your life? No. There was once, but he was killed. I'm sorry. Was he in your old warband? Bram said you were a Gladium. Bram talks too much. Don't be mad. We're your friends. Yeah, what are friends for? If not for sticking our noses in each other's business. Friends at the Priory delivered everything they had on Scarlet. I also called in Vor, the Arcane Council's point person. He's collaborating with us remotely. We need your help sifting through the evidence. We have our own theories, but we could use another opinion. These recordings were found near Scarlet's lab in Lornar's Pass. You should listen to them first. These other items are all pieces of the puzzle. Examine each one and let us know how you think it fits. You've seen me through my awakening, Mender Saramon. Thank you. But I'm awake now, so you can leave me alone. Synergetics is endlessly fascinating. It seeks to define the eternal alchemy. The other colleges work within that definition. The potential of golems interests me. Combining dynamics design with statics versatility makes just about anything possible. I like Teo. More importantly, I need to advance my theories quickly. And nobody's better at quick results than the inquest. Today will be monumental. With OMAD support, I shall finally see past this world and into the eternal alchemy. The moles get magic, flame gets gear, and I get the weaponry I need. Everybody wins. Especially me. Lion's Arch needs softening up first. So we infiltrate its halls of power and neuter its defenses from the inside. The theme is humanity can withstand any test. It's like they're begging me to prove them wrong. It's laughable! <laughs> See? Air superiority wins wars, so build me a comparable fleet, or I'll kill you all and replace you with hollows. Once more, my esteemed snaky friend, you're doing this for obelisk shards. You want direct access to your profits, right? Then do as I say! Scarlet deceived each of her allies into thinking they'd gain something from working for her. Hmm. She'd make a great minister. Ever since I came out of Omad's machine, you've been taking credit for my ideas. They're mine, not yours. Let me be clear. I'm not doing this for you. I'm doing it for me. Nobody tells me what to do. Not ever. It's not true. None of it. I don't have to listen to you. Get out of my head! I wonder if the voices in her head are real. What if what she saw in Omad's machine grabbed hold of her? Scarlet rejected the Pale Tree because she wanted independence. What if Omad's machine cost her that? Ironic that she rejected the Pale Tree to exert her independence, only to lose it to something else. This is Synergetics Headmaster Omad's isolation module. A Silvari named Kiara went in. Scarlet came out. I reverse-engineered an image of Kiara's aura patterns before and after. 
The schism is pronounced and dramatic. Kiara encountered something that literally broke her mind, but the only things in there were things she brought. I surmise she was directly exposed to a part of her own psyche that had been carefully walled off, perhaps for her own protection. We'd need to do far more extensive study of the Savari dream before I can draw any more detailed conclusions. What I can conclude now is that she's preparing to strike. Mark my words, Scarlet's next attack is planned and ready. I almost feel sorry for Scarlet after reading her journal. If only she didn't use Omad's machine, she might be a sane flower. Those are the ramblings of a crazy murderer. Make no mistake, honey. She enjoys killing. She needs to be found and put down. I wake from nightmares screaming, confused, and scared. It's getting worse. I've decided to talk to Amenda. I've probably just been working too hard. Every night, the same terrors. It never changes. The Mender was unable to help me, and I feel like I'm losing control of myself. When the nightmare starts, an entity calls to me. I run, run into a sea of darkness. But no matter how hard I try to escape, it keeps calling me. I'm trying not to sleep, too scared to even close my eyes. So scared. Whispers come from the forest all night long, calling me, taunting me, possessing me. Tonight. I saw it. I stared into the abyss, and it stared back at me. So much power. I don't know what's real and what isn't anymore. Control of my world, of myself, is slipping through my hands. And yet, I'm no longer scared. It communicated with me through images of death, destruction, and destiny. I must know more. I must confront it and put an end to this madness! Scared? What could possibly frighten someone like Scarlet? She saw something while hooked up to Omad's machine. Something that broke her. She's hearing voices in her head. But what are they telling her to do? It's so like Scarlet to ruin someone's big day. Poor Queen Jenna. Celebrating 10 years of rule, only to have it marred by killer automatons. Is that watch my piece safe, Marjorie? I hate having any of Scarlet's machines in the bar. Don't fret, Angel. Ever since Queen's Jubilee, it's been quiet as a corpse. I think our friend is on to something. Hmm, not bad. The clockwork horrors from the Jubilee must have been Scarlet's second draft. Scarlet got crafty. Instead of pairing up two splinter factions, she stole an entire fighting force, and then she upped the ante with that giant marionette. You don't need that kind of firepower unless you're going to attack something really big. If you examine the steam creature closely, you can identify similarities to Scarlet's clockwork machines in its design. It's like she's modified the Watch Knights with the same engineering. The Watch Knights and the Steam Creatures use common parts. That would explain how Scarlet gained control of the Watch Knights. Their obedience makes them perfect infantry units for assaulting a fortified location. I'll never forget how close we came to disaster. When I think about those spores spreading their toxins across Tyria, it boils my blood. The Nightmare Court and Crate do make a volatile combination. Scarlet popped some horrifying alchemy there. This sample is resistant to the antitoxin we used against the Nightmare Tower poison. Jory, we didn't stop her plan. We just showed her how to make a stronger poison that could wipe out an entire city. Scarlet converted part of the Nightmare Court Arbor into her own personal airship factory. She also tormented the Silvari firstborn, Kate. She formed this alliance in part to develop hybrid weapons with maximum destructive potential. Now she has an arsenal of advanced weapons and an air fleet to deliver them. No city is prepared to defend against an aerial attack. Not even Lion's Arch. <sighs> Dragon Bash was supposed to be festive, until Scarlet killed people with her flying pirates. Keel did an excellent job documenting the assassination of Counselor Theo Ashford during Dragon Bash. You should really return this case file before she notices you purloined it. Hmm. 
Scarlet plotted to kill someone on the Captain's Council to make room for her puppet. With Trin in place on the Council, she could have weakened the city's defenses from the inside. That plan backfired, but Trin escaped to the mists to prepare for something. Priory teams recovered this cooling rod from the Thaumanova reactor disaster. It's steeped in dragon magic. Scarlet and the Inquest turned a risky research experiment into a time bomb so they could study how it ticked. They also discovered new info about ley lines. If Scarlet is using that info to plan her next major attack, it's coming soon. Hmm, that's a piece of one of Scarlet's probes. We theorize that this agitated the jungle worms. Hmm, that's a puzzler. It's been almost a year since the Molten Alliance attacked the Shiver Peaks. Dredge and Flame Legion together. Who'd have imagined it? Look closely at how they combine Dredge mechanical knowledge with the Flame Legion's fire magic. So Dredge sonic technology can be used for probing underground. And Scarlet's been looking for ley lines with those probes. She's, She's after, after the, the ley lines, lines underneath, underneath Lion's Arch. Arch. Let's review the evidence. Kiara entered Omad's device, saw something terrifying, and emerged as Scarlet Briar. She came out insane, but there's a method to her madness. We know from Thalmanova that she's researching magical energy in ley lines. She's used Molten Alliance Magitech to locate ley lines. We know that there are ley lines in Lion's Arch, among other places. She's built her own personal army. Crate and Nightmare Court, Pirates and Inquest, Dredge and Flame Legion, and most of all, her clockwork horrors. She tricked her subordinates into doing her bidding with promises of power, resources, or other gains. She modified her poison to be resistant to our antitoxin. She could use it against an army or a city. My Trin is preparing the Aether Blades in the mists for a big attack. There's a mist portal in Lion's Arch. Jory, Lion's Arch is her target. We have to warn Ellen. I'll warn her. I'll let you know when I hear back. Make your preparations. Everything has been building toward a single, devastating attack. May the gods show us mercy. <laughs>